Well, friends, me and Dog Fats, it's uh, the final day of camp. Um, for several reasons, really. The, uh, the cooler box is no longer cool, so I don't really trust the food that's left in there to eat. I don't really want to poison myself or the dog. But we had a lovely night last night, me and himself, with the fire. Burgers are plenty for everybody, want the fatty? And uh, honestly, that camp bed is brilliant, but I do not know quite how it fits both me and dog fats, because uh, he decided he was sleeping with me. But anyway, we managed it, and it was uh, it was comfy enough. Um, it was an early, early morning, woke at five, a sort of strange banging like um, I don't know like, like someone just smacking a tree with a lump of wood I was trying to ponder where it was I thought maybe the, there are big pine cones in here but I can't, I can't imagine they might make that much noise and the, the branches I'd be hitting are not that substantial either so yeah that was that was slightly odd but there's been a big change in temperature and I wonder if that sort of banging, knocking noise was actually the trees kind of almost creaking, settling. I know um, in some of the old timber Tudor buildings I've lived in over the years, wood does make funny noises when it changes temperature and moves and settles. But it didn't keep us awake very long. Grabbed a few more hours. Um, the other reason for packing up camp today was the weather forecast. It's gone very um, humid. The temperature's crept up on the radio, so that it's going to be like mid-twenties Celsius with a prediction of thunderbolts and lightnings and very, very frightening. So I made the decision this morning that for numerous factors it was time to to pack up, sadly. But it's been an absolutely brilliant holiday. Um, and it, it really has been a holiday. It's truly, truly um, blessed that I can spend some time in nature and uh, as I said I think this is the very first time that I've had a holiday alone as such, well not alone, I've got the dog obviously but with no human beings and um, it, it's been nice, I really enjoyed it. Um, very pleased with the layout for the camp and the kit, everything's been very very comfortable. Two fails this shower <laughs> absolute fail um, quite a lot of criticisms for that I mean it wasn't expensive, I don't mind and it's, it's fine, I can still use it as a water container if you were to fill it to the full uh, 40 litres I have no idea how you'd be able to heft it up high enough to take a shower it doesn't appear to work as a shower um, there's no valve or anything on it but it still doesn't flow particularly nicely, even if you undo the cap. Um, so essentially it turned into a bucket bath. But that's fine, it did the job. Um, the other fail was the solar panels. I did hope during the sunny weather that they might trickle a bit of charge into phones and the power pack, but nah. And that's the other thing, my phone ran out of charge yesterday, so I'm totally out of touch with the world other than my little transistor radio. Put the fire pit away. Cook station's gone. Wash station's gone. I need to decide what to do with these uh, chairs. I bought a bundle of chairs for visitors and things, but because I've left them on site for uh, the last 18 months or so, <laughs> it was a bit of a horror story opening them up. Uh, one of them, uh, uh, beyond count the amount of wood lice crawling all over it it was like a horror movie thankfully i'm not that bothered by wood lice so that was fine like taylor swift we uh shake it off <laughs> anyway a bit of drizzle damp but still beautiful isn't it and that's it my friends a little sad end of the camp but i have left the gazebo pitched because I've got a bit more annual leave coming up, so I've got some more long weekends over September and October, and I'm hoping we'll get lucky and get a few more trips in. There's a lot of stuff I'm leaving on site. 
I don't want to be hauling it backwards and forwards. Sadly, it's so dark in here, I don't suppose. You'll see, but anyway, a lot of the heavy kit is just going to live on site. Um, it's very quiet down here, so I don't think we'll have any issues with Teavery, will we, Fatsy? Hopefully not. But that's it from September Big Dog Camp. Over and out. You all take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time.